Welcome to Developing a Clinical Bottom Line. Developing a clinical bottom line takes place at the end of the five-step evidence-based practice process. During the EBP process, after you have reviewed literature that answers your clinical question, develop a clinical bottom line. The clinical bottom line summarizes the evidence found in relation to the clinical question or specific clinical scenario. It is a brief statement that helps to translate research into practice. The clinical bottom line highlights whether the use of the given intervention identified in the clinical question might be beneficial to incorporate into clinical practice. Clinical recommendations should be shared with the implications for clinical practice, education, and future research. Additional content should include the benefits and disadvantages of using the intervention within daily practice. After synthesizing the literature, based on the best available evidence, answer. What is your final take home point and recommendation? What should athletic trainers be doing based on the best available evidence? What barriers may they face in implementing your recommendation based on the literature? Let's look at an example. Remember to begin with a well-developed clinical question being investigated to create an educational program. Next, you have the educational need and gap for the program. Once you have completed the search for best available evidence to answer your clinical question, you'll have references for your program. Appraise the evidence found in your literature search and apply it, taking into consideration clinical expertise and patient values. Then develop your clinical bottom line. In this example, the clinical bottom line answers the clinical question investigated for the program, summarizes the evidence found in relation to the clinical question, is a brief statement that helps to translate research into practice, highlights whether the use of given intervention, in this case, clinical and field-based balance assessment tools, are comparable to lab-based measures. It outlines clinical recommendations and the implications for clinical practice, education, and future research, and provides the benefits and disadvantages of using the intervention within daily practice. From this, participants should be able to take away a clinical recommendation and understand what they should be doing to provide best patient care in clinical practice based on the best available evidence, clinical expertise, and patient values with barriers they may face during implementation. This concludes developing the clinical bottom line. To answer more of your questions, check out our other videos.